Hi there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. How are you? I am back. It's Tuesday, is it Tuesday? Yes? Yes. It's Tuesday. I am here in my kitchen. I am safe at home. I am here with Lauren, who is my niece, my sidekick, who sometimes likes to reveal herself on camera and sometimes she likes to hide. <laughs> Today she's hiding. I am here in, all right, let me tell you, I am so excited about this recipe. I can't even explain to you how excited I am about this. Cauliflower pizza in a mug. I have really, going back to my mad scientist roots, hey, hey Barb, hey Deb, hey Lauren. I'm gonna say hello as you guys come into the room because now we have like 500 people. Hi Peggy. I am so excited about this because I have to tell you, first of all, I've been craving pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Cauliflower pizza couldn't be hotter. I was like, why can't I just make it in a mug, truly? Hey Willow, hey Mary. And I'm like, we'll make it in a mug. We're gonna find out a way to make it taste just like pizza. I wanna let you know, I am from New York. New York in the house, Snoopy New York. This is a pizza, by the way, in case you didn't know. Does it, Lauren, does this look like a pizza to you? <laughs> I think it's a pizza. Do you think it's a pizza? It's a pizza you think it's a pizza or a cookie? It's definitely a pizza. <laughs> I think it's a pizza. Well, tonight it is a pizza, and that's in celebration of the best pizza in the world, which is in New York. Brooklyn, New York, wherever. Best pizza ever is in New York. The second best pizza in the world is right here, and I'm gonna make it in, tonight I'm gonna make it in a bowl. So, here's the deal. You've got, I love that people are texting me. I'm using my phone right now, so text me, but I can't respond. Anyway, you can make it in a mug. Now, here's the deal. I, it's, I call it in a mug. I'm gonna show it to you in a bowl because you want the widest bottom possible. And I don't mean you wanting the widest bottom possible. I mean your pizza in the mug, you want the widest bottom possible. And if you eat this pizza, you are not gonna have the widest bottom possible. Why? Because it has under 220 calories. <laughs> Clap for that, people. All right, I'm gonna show you some of the ingredients that you absolutely need other than your mug. And it's very simple. Okay, the star of the show today, of course, is cauliflower. And why is that? Because this is cauliflower pizza. Rice cauliflower these days is everywhere. Of course, I have my trusty Green Giant cauliflower pizza. I love it. Green Giant, all their veggies, their frozen veggies are incredible. They're riced veggies, they have spiralized veggies, they have gnocchi, they have it all. But today I'm just using their tried and true Green Giant, take two, <laughs> rice veggies. <laughs> In a bag. I'm just gonna have so much fun here by myself. Um, and that's it. It's a superstar. And so in this recipe, it calls for the rice to be cooked and drained. So it's already cooked, it's thawed, and it's drained. Wow, there's 1,200 people here. What's All right. Favorite kind of pizza? My favorite kind of pizza is pretty much every pizza because I love all pizza, I have to say. What do you think? What's your favorite pizza? What's your favorite pizza? Well, she's, I forgot, you know, she's vegan. She's vegan. Tonight we're making pepperoni pizza in a cauliflower mug, okay? Yes, 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 yes. And if you like this recipe and other recipes, you should subscribe to the Hungry Girl emails. I send tips, tricks, recipes, food finds every single day. Thank you guys, you really like my shirt. It's a backwards Snoopy that says New York, thank you. It was from American Eagle a few years ago. I have several of the different the various Snoopy shirts from American Eagle. Okay, I know you guys want me to get down to business, so I'm gonna start making the pizza. Now in this pizza, this is what I love. I've seen people make keto cauliflower pizza crust. It doesn't contain any flour at all, but I decided to up my game tonight and make a cauliflower deep dish pizza. So I'm using a little bit of real flour, a little bit of baking powder, a little bit of seasonings, a little bit of egg and cauliflower to make the best dough possible. So right here, I've got two tablespoons of flour. Now I'm using regular all-purpose flour tonight, but whatever you have in the house is fine. If you have whole wheat flour, that's fine. If you have, I don't know, cassava flour, which by the way, I do have, um, that's fine. If you have, even if you have no flour, because I heard people are having a hard time finding flour, you can use like oatmeal. If you just take oats, put it in a blender, like old fashioned oats, turn that into oat flour, that's fine. So we've got two tablespoons of flour, 
To that, I'm adding a half of a teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're gonna put this recipe up so you don't have to write everything down, but you can, if you want, write everything down. So we've got some dry ingredients here. We've got, I'm gonna season it up with a little bit of Italian seasoning. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic because who doesn't like garlic? I'm gonna give this a little bit of a mix. There's our dry ingredients. Now we're gonna start on the fun. This is a half a cup of riced cauliflower. Guys, are you following? Are you following? Anything going on? I'm trying to read. Hey, Dana. Hi, Dana Miller. All right, so there's my half a... Wait, wait, go on, Lauren. I'm just going to say, do you like pineapple on your pizza? I do like pineapple on my pizza. I know people think that's weird. I like pineapple. I once had a pizza with shrimp and pineapple. By the way, these are my Hungry Girl measuring spoons. Do you see those? Pretty cute. People are asking about different kinds of flowers, all flowers. Yeah, you could use... Look, you could use whatever flower you have because, hey... Quarantine your way. I've been saying this every night. It's like whatever you have in the house, I wanna make it work for you. Even if you only had riced broccoli, like it, it could work, so it's okay. Cauliflower, broccoli, hash browns, yes, that's good. You could use almond flour. So this is a half a cup of my riced cauliflower, courtesy of my friends over at Green Giant. Now to that, I am gonna add a tablespoon, one tablespoon with my trusty Hungry Girl measuring spoons of parm. It smells good, sniff that. Sniff it, don't be shy. All right, so I'm adding the parm, and then I'm gonna add a tablespoon and a half of egg. This is egg beaters. You know, I like to use egg whites or egg substitute. Use whatever egg your little heart desires, to quote my mother. That's, I'm gonna do a tablespoon and a half of eggy. Now I'm gonna add, this is the seasonings, the baking powder, and my flour, and we're gonna make the crust. So what I love about this pizza, honestly, is that it, it's, it, like, it turns into a little cauliflower biscuit. It's not even like, I can't explain it. It's like, almost like a cauliflower, I don't wanna say a muffin, but it's like a cauliflower biscuit cake. So you wanna mix that. What's going on over there? While I mix, ask me questions, tell me things. How's your day? Are you working? Are you having fun? Yes, you can use egg whites, totally. Are you, oh, I see you sniffing, thank you. <laughs> Mary Ann is sniffing. Okay, mixing it up. Lauren, what's going on out there, anything? Is Jamie out there? Is Jamie posting like information about what I'm putting up? Because Jamie's usually great about that. Now again, I'm gonna tell you, you can make it in a mug. I do make it in a mug because I like everything in a mug, but for tonight I'm making it in this bowl so you can actually see it. So this is our little cauliflower crust. It's ready to go in the microwave. Do you know how many eggs that is? Um, it's a very small amount. Um, it's not even an, an, not even close to one egg. It's like a quarter of an egg or something. Someone will tell me the right amount exactly. By the way, this has four points, all colors. I don't care if it's purple, turquoise, orange, blue, Roigi Biv, Weight Watchers. It's all the same, I believe. It's raining here too. It's raining pizza. All right, so there it is, people. Do you like it? It's flattened. You wanna flatten it down in your bowl or mug. Now we put it in the microwave for, let's set a timer for, I don't know, a minute and a half. Who's gonna tell me when a minute and a half is up? Lauren? <laughs> ah, so, oh good, what are we gonna do for the next minute? Um, I have an idea, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna give away today. Today, today's animal of the day, as you know, I have been with what little free time I have, but while I am home quarantining, I am using a sticker book for children and I am making stickers every day and then I embellish them. And today we have Gail the giraffe. Gail is the name of my Bam Bam and Lolly's doctor. So I, I made this giraffe and named it after her. If you like Gail, you can go. please, 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 please send hearts. Say you want to win Gail, I'm giving her away. Just tell me you like her, send hearts if you're having fun. Send hearts for whatever reason. 
And if you want to see me do these all the time, hit the notification button so you can actually get notified when I go live because you don't want to miss me. That would be terrible. Anyway, do you like Gail the giraffe? I made her with my own stickers. Jamie pinned the recipe. Oh, Jamie pinned the recipe. Who's better than Jamie? Oh, is that the timer? We have a couple more oh, we have a few more seconds. It's Five looking seconds. good. It's looking good. 15 seconds. It actually smells good. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm going to look at it now and see if it's ready. So it's about a minute and a half or until set. That looks pretty set. Look at it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna show you my Hello Kitty microwave also. So this is what it looks like. It's like deep dish. You could pop this out. You don't have to grease your mug or your bowl or anything, but you could just pop this out and you would be good to go. And it's like this little cake, but I eat it out of a, a bowl. All right, so there's your pizza crust. It smells great. You see it's smoking. Sniff that. It smells like um, Italian seasoning. Now we're gonna do the right thing, baby. We're gonna to top our pizza with all the necessary ingredients. So, the rest of the ingredients are as follows. I have turkey pepperoni. I like turkey pepperoni because I'm a pepperoni fan. You don't have to. If you don't eat meat or if you don't like pepperoni, you don't need to use pepperoni. You could use whatever pizza toppings you have. Onions, green peppers, mushrooms. But if you have turkey pepperoni, I use only four little itty bitty pepperoni pieces. And then a string cheese. So. If you're feeling ambitious and you wanna put your string cheese in the food processor or the blender, you can do that. I'm just gonna cut it up. So you wanna like either shred it, cut it, chop it. And I like to chop it into like small pieces because you get, it just seems more cheesy that way. Like the cheese goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? And you uh, picking up what I'm throwing down. You know what I mean? All right, chopping this, chopping this, chopping this. Any comments from the peanut gallery? Um, I love turkey like pepper. Oh my! I'll tell you about that. Uh, yes, yes, I did. I think Sakasu has just become our new greeting. Hold on, uh, my phone is making crazy noises. What was that? <laughs> that sounded like Dr. Drew. It totally did. What the heck is happening here? All right, this. All right, so now this is two tablespoons of pizza sauce, like marinara sauce. I happen to use jarred sauce. I like to use a low-fat sauce, anything that has like 40 to 60 calories per serving. And I am topping two tablespoons on my pizza. That's all you need. It goes a long way. But I want to use every drop. Someone said I thought you got half. I don't know, we heard a noise. We don't know what happened to my phone. Dr. Drew was trying to like break in and eat the cauliflower pizza. Now that we have the sauce on there, I'm, gonna, I'm having so much fun. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, give this a very rough chop. I'm just cutting these in half. Um, oh, I got a voicemail too, this is crazy. All right, so we're gonna put the, the cheese on top with the pepperoni. We're gonna strategically place it. Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see, or because I can only see your comments. Can you see in the bowl? Yes. I'm trying to talk to Lauren, but Sorry. she's not listening to me. Reading she's reading comments. Yes, All right. Can see in the bowl. Okay, good. Great. The recipe's in the comments. All right, the recipe is pinned in the comments. I've got this pizza thing happening. I got the pepperoni thing happening. Lolly's here, by the way, but she's eating a chewy, so she's not paying attention to us. So we're almost done. What I love about this is you use the entire cheese stick so it's nice and cheesy. And just keep going. Pile that cheese on. It's, this really is a fantastic recipe. Can you see in that bowl? Yes. Okay, this is why I'm using a bowl and not a mug. I want you to see it all. It looks really delicious. Now I'm gonna throw this thing in the Hello Kitty microwave. For how long? Until it melts, 30 to 40 seconds. Maybe, Lauren, you could set your timer for like 30 seconds and then we'll check on it. Okay, okay this is going in. <laughs> oh, I'm thirsty. I need some water. Hold on. It's, it's melting. I'm going to get a Perrier. Yeah, I like, look, I like Dr. Drew as much as anyone. He's kind of hot, right? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I love you guys. How are you guys feeling? Are you doing good? Hanging in there? Is this our 30? Oh, it's not melted yet. We're just gonna talk for a few more seconds. You have to really pay attention. You don't wanna overdo this, but you want your cheese to be nice and melty. You know what I'm saying? My microwave is so cute. I'll show you, hold on. Can you see it? That's the Hello Kitty microwave. Oh, it's done, I think. That looks pretty melted. Well, I'm gonna put it in for a few more seconds. Is the suspense killing you? I mean, how many times have you seen someone make a deep dish cauliflower pizza in a mug? Come on, this is good. Hey, Lorraine. Hi. All right, now we're officially complete. This really is beautiful. Look at that. So this entire thing, this whole bowl, this big giant pizza, oh, that's hot. 220 calories, probably a little less, but I'm rounding up. About 220 calories, 7.5 grams of fat, and almost 20 grams of protein. Now, is that not crazy? I'm gonna taste it for you, hold on. But I don't wanna burn myself. I'm back. Do you want me to try it? Is anybody enjoying uh, the, uh, the giraffe of the day? Does anybody wanna win the giraffe? <laughs> A lot of people want, look at this, it's cheesy. Look at the cheese, holy cow. Ah, it's so good. All right, I'm gonna try it, I'll describe it to you. Hang on. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. This is like, it's almost like a cauliflower biscuit bottom. It's like a biscuit crust with gooey melted cheese, saucy deliciousness, turkey pepperoni, it's a home run. This is like, it's a snack. It has like the same amount of calories as a lot of snack bars. This is so good. I just wanna, I'm gonna leave you now and eat this. All right guys, are you gonna make this? Who's gonna make this? Are you gonna make this? Hold on, I'm reading your comments. Four points, four. Too much sodium for you. All right, you want the giraffe. All right, I love you guys, truly. Anything else? People Wait. can sign up for the daily email to get the full recipe. Yes, the full recipe that you can print will be in the daily email. Listen guys, if you're not familiar with Hungry Girl, if this is your first Hungry Girl experience, I've been sending Hungry Girl emails for almost 16 years. Um, I send recipes, food finds, tips and tricks. You can sign up at hungry-girl.com. There's a Hungry Girl podcast. You can go to the website. We've got, oh, an exciting product launching tomorrow. This is Hungry Girl, my daily, I mean your daily Bright Boost. This is a drink mix that I personally created myself. It's immunity boosting, vitamin packed, collagen containing for beauty, energy, has a little dose of natural caffeine. It is fantastic. In the daily email tomorrow, you're gonna to find out about this product. I drink it every single day. It's based on another drink that I was drinking and I contacted the company and we joined forces and created this wonderful product and you'll find out about it tomorrow. And that is all I got for you. But this recipe is totally worth making. I want you to stare at this pizza. Please, look at that. Look at that, can you see it? It's gorgeous. All right, send likes, send loves. Someone out there is gonna win Gail the Giraffe. And that's all I got. I'll be back very soon with another recipe, more food finds, everything you need. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. Till next time, chew the right thing. <laughs>